Right, when you're working uh, with maps and compasses, you know, in your land navigation, um, besides a map and a compass, another essential item that you, you sh must have, really, is a map roma. And that is a map roma. Basically, it's just a small piece of plastic. But on it, it's got all the uh, different scales and it's also, this one's also got a protractor on it and also it's got the uh, distance scales as well and this one's got holes cut out which you can use with a pencil to map, mark your map now the Roma you use a Roma when you're working with grid references um, I'll just show you another one that's a silver Roma it's made by the firm Silver that make compasses they all do the same job. They all work out uh, grid references or when you are actually working with a grid reference. So you can see the different scales again and also the, the distance uh, measures on them as well. And I'll just show you another one. This one is a Harvey. It's a nice little compact one that it doesn't have distance scales on it. All it's got um, is distance measures I, sh I should say. All this one's got is just the uh, scales itself. Uh, so that's it, as I say, when you're working with uh, map grid references, it's essential to get aroma. Um, you, you, you know, you've got scales on your actual compass itself, but I think it's always best to get a separate aroma, much easier to work with and you know, an actual compass you know, you've got your compass housing and everything, all sorts, but on a Roma, all you've got on it is the scales and the, you know, the measures and things on it. So, so that's it. Um, if you're not sure about working with um, map references, how to find one and how to, you know, give a, a, a grid reference on my channel, I have a playlist called Land Navigation and it covers everything all aspects of land navigation with a map and compass uh, from beginner level up to more advanced techniques so you might want to take a look at that